Hello my friends, welcome on this video. Today I will show you how to install Windows 11 developer version. The one who leaked these days. And I will install it today if you want to see it before it will be launched. So continue watching this video tutorial today and don't forget to subscribe tips to fix. And now let's continue installing right now. Okay, the first thing we got to do, we have to download Windows 11 pre-launch version or developer version here on tips to fix I will paste the link on the description. You can download the Windows here. Scroll down and uh, you will see here a um, link for Rufus if you want to try to install on a machine or workstation. I did try after I downloaded Rufus and downloaded the uh, Windows 11 ISO file. I tried to install on workstation but with no chance because this is looked then and it works only on VMware machines. So I don't suggest you to try to install in any laptop or something yet because this one is looked. See this video on the background and you will see the error we are not able to install because of your computer parameters. Okay, so what you have to do, just download this Android file host here, click here, you have to download this version, scroll down and click download, and then you will be able to download the ISO file. After we download the ISO file for pre-release or client consumer version, what we have to do, we open up VMware. I will try today or installing this on VMware Workstation Pro. Open up VMware, copy this path of the file, and then here we will create new virtual machine. Click typical and click installer from the image we have. Okay, I will use Windows here. Click next, choose Microsoft Windows here, here and choose Windows 10 64-bit and call it Windows 11 64. I will use the same location in my folder. Click next. Use 30 gigabytes, only 30 gigabytes and store virtual machine as a single file. Yes, single file. And customize hardware here. I will give some 8 giga RAM. Give two purchasers just for to have it. And make sure your computer, your workstation support virtual Intel processor and have your VT option enabled on your BIOS. If you see any error like this, you can see this now on the video. You have to enable this virtualized Intel uh, Intel VT on uh, on your BIOS okay I have already enabled this because I'm on the computer who supports virtual machines so make sure you have this support on your BIOS let's continue uh, display is auto detected then click, click close here click click finish here and then power on this virtual machine okay here we are and then look at this. Windows 11 is trying to install right now. Nice. Click next. Install now. Setup is on progress. I don't have a product key. Okay. I will choose Windows 11 Pro. And there is a Pro for Workstation, that's great. Mm -hmm. Upgrade and install, I will use custom install, click next here, and then wait for installation. We will see what is new on this Windows 11 and what we are expecting to be on 24th June. Windows will launch this version as officially and we will be able to upgrade our computers. So I will make another video tutorial how to upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 or Windows 7 to Windows 11 directly. You can see it before you upgrade the Windows. Click restart here. Okay. Hmm. 
Wow, look at this. Animation. Okay, click yes here. It looks like a Mac, like Mac OS. Skip here, or like Linux. Different things, better, looks better. I think it looks better. Okay, checking for updates. Come on guys, don't check that much. Set up for personal use or set up for work or school. Hmm, interesting, work or school. Set up for personal use, click next. Oh, I don't have to sign in with Microsoft right now because I don't remember the password. Um, no account yet. Oh, sign in options here. Sign in options, offline account. Next step, limited experience. That's okay. Put your name here. Here, click next. I will use empty password. Click next, next. Next, accept. Now let's see what's new from Windows. Nice. Okay. Hi, getting things ready for you. Thank you very much. You're trying to get things ready for me. This take a few minutes. Don't turn off your PC. In my case, Virtual machine. Here we are. Look at this. Okay, start. The icons here start and search and everything is on the center. But let me make it full view. Display settings, let's see here. And let's do full HD, full HD, full HD. Okay, here. Okay, keep changes. That's nice. Here is a start. Microsoft Edge, Mail, Calendar, Microsoft Store, Photo, Settings. Let's see settings. It looks like Windows 10. Gaming accounts, accessibility, privacy, update and security. Oh, there are some updates for this version. Recovery, activation. Find my device for developers. We have things for developers here. Hmm. Right click here on the taskbar settings. Okay, we have option here to put the taskbar on the center or taskbar on the left. Nice. I will keep it here on the left. Automatically hide if you want. Show badges and task button. Show windows icon space. Okay. Show touch keyboard button. That's okay. Show task view, show search button. I don't want to see search button, but here you can keep it if you want. Themes here. Let's see if we have dark mode. For sure, dark mode is here. Look at this. I like it. I like it. Task bar again. We'll keep here on the center. It looks better. Here is dark mode. Let's keep it white for the moment. Windows light mode. What is this tab? New desktop. Okay. You can create a lot of desktops if you want. And you need a Microsoft account to use this Windows dashboard. Let's go here on this PC to see things. I like the folders. I like color folders. Interesting. And this settings button, it looks like Android. 
personalization, show desktop icons, here desktop icons, nice. Let's try if search works directly here. If I type something, sounds. Nice, it works. We have search. Okay, notification and actions. One, two, three. Look at my microphone, it's working here. Manage sound device. If you don't want notification, turn off notifications. Okay, let's see another thing. Let's see how clock looks like. It's look, it looks like Windows 10. There are some of, I think the, the big difference from Windows 10 here is the look, user interface. Let's see if is all control panel is here. Con okay, we have all control panel also included. Nice, but all icons are, are different. Let's see. We have an installer, we have hardware and sound. Sound, let's see here. Menu pop up. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So I like it. I like it. It looks better, it looks more nice, more clean, more beautiful to see. So thank you guys for watching this video. This is how Windows 11 looks like. Let's wait for 24 June for the big event from Microsoft to have these windows ready for publishing. God bless you.